very good week of practice. Um, been pleased with the, the effort and the attitude and the, the attention to detail with our team. Uh, we talked about it Monday. There's just so many things we need to improve on. I feel like our team's had a good attitude. Uh, seem to be in good spirits. We've had a beautiful week as far as temperature. Nice to be out here and practicing. So overall, good week, and uh, hopefully that'll carry over to the game field, and we'll play better. Have one more opportunity to get out there tomorrow and uh, brush up a few things and put the finishing details on it and uh, be ready for a great game with LSU. Well, it's, it's very important, as you know, uh, over the years, building depth and, and quality players at all position is key. Um, you know, we need uh, to continue to recruit players like that and, and uh, continue to elevate our game because that's what we're playing against, a uh, very talented league. And, um, you know, I'm pleased uh, with certain positions. Those guys really, I felt like, stepped in and did some good job or did a good job. And then I feel like there's some other positions, some other young guys that we've got to continue to bring along. Receiver, D-line, linebacker, you know, a lot of positions, a lot of the young guys. So, and not that I'm down on them. It's just it's hard. You know, it's hard. It's hard to step in as a freshman and, and – uh, and, and, be the primary guy to win SEC games. Help, yes. You know, fill gaps, yes. But be the guy to win against LSU, we've got to work really hard to help those guys get in that position. Anybody uh, from that receiving group stepped forward this week, kind of made a move, or do you have to look to? We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, they all, I felt like they had a good week of practice. I really do. And, you know, hopefully we'll carry over. What's been the toughest thing for some of those guys in that group? Well, I mean, just there's a lot of things. It's a new quarterback. It's a new system. You know, there's 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 nuances every week. There's little wrinkles, and the more experience you have, the easier that is, and to be on the same page with the quarterback. So, uh, that's a work in progress. But uh, I think, again, I think, you know, I certainly feel like we'll get there, and guys are working hard. Brad said yesterday that he has a little inkling. LSU maybe tries to go back and some of the stuff they've always been good at in the run game. Do you kind of anticipate them kind of going back and some of that being I, ground <laughs> I mean, we always feel like we have to be ready for the run game, you know, because uh, let's face it, you know, when teams run the ball on you, it's demoralizing, you know, so you always have to be uh, ready. We always feel like you know, when you're playing a team like LSU with big, strong offensive linemen, extremely talented backs. And again, they put a lot of pressure on you with the receivers. So if you don't play with numbers, uh, they could have some explosive runs. So it, it, it's, to me, it's like the same challenge. You know, I, I might as well be a broken record when I sit here and talk to you, you know, because that's that's just the case from taken from a defensive guy. You have to uh, be good at it's stopping the run. I mean, you need to be perfect, but you need to be good. If you just sit back there and try to play split safeties and take care of the pass all day long, they're going to run it on you, and that's not a good feeling. But, but they've not had, I mean, they've, they've kind of had a hard time running the ball, but they've still gotten a lot of big plays off. You know? Yeah. Well, how does that kind of work? Again, it's, it's, it's this week. You know, we, we know them. They're a very good team and very well coached. They're going to try to improve in areas where they feel like they need to improve just like we have to.